Welcome back, everybody. I am the Jimmer, and this is the Battle Wagon Smash. It's going to be episode 15. Going a little bit out of order here. We wanted to get all of the introduction videos um, out of the way before we hit the uh, first round of eliminations. And uh, this is going to be the first elimination battle down here in the secondary bracket. We've got the CTRS Glenn Baba by Captain Cleeter taking on the big transport by Jan, John, Jan. I I never know with the J's. And uh, of course I'm American, so I'm going to butcher the pronunciation uh, regardless. I'm going to go with Jan. I think that is probably the most likely. But uh, that's either here nor there. Um, like I said, this is an elimination match, so the winner moves on to the next round. And the loser gets eliminated. Got uh, all the standard settings that we've been running all along. Got uh, both entries spawned in. Go ahead and get this battle underway. I'm going to do just a really quick introduction. Just point out uh, which side is which. And then we'll get the battle underway. This is the CTRS Glen Faba. Very nice looking design. Lots of guns. And... Uh, We'll see, we'll see how all that uh, DACA pans out. And this is the big transport by Jean. Or Jan. <laughs> and uh, this is really cool. Very uh, unique and uh, different design. It's actually like a mobile tank garage. So these little tanks inside, uh, once we get underway, will actually like drive out and start fighting. And so we have the, the garage... Um, backing up the uh, the tanks in its bay there a really really cool design uh, very creative I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera set up we will get this unpaused and underway I'm gonna try and move the avatar there we go get the avatar out of there before it gets mutilated and there you see the uh, the tanks driving out preparing for battle here comes the first missile strike Oh, looks like it's all going to focus that one tank. Oh! Oh, man. It was a big hit. Lots of EMP. But it looks like the tank just shrugged it off. See some really big shells exploding against the uh, big transport. So a pretty close battle. The uh, big transport, 96. The Glenfaba, 94. Oh, it looks like the Glenfaba is going to come in for a ram here. Oh, it's a much bigger tank, too. Oh, yeah, look at that wiped out looks oh man wiped out all three little tanks in one sweeping maneuver there took out two with the ram and then the uh, third with the broadside oh but it is right in range of those big guns on the uh, big transport oh they are putting they are putting holes in this hull turning the uh, Glenfaba into Swiss cheese I think the Glenfaba actually wants to back off here it is taking a beating. Oh, and look at one of the little tanks actually survived. Be able to recover from that ramming. And uh, has good repairs. It's uh, repaired back up and is part of the battle. Looks like the Glenfaba is actually pushing the uh, big transport around. But they're sort of bound together here. These uh, uneven surfaces on both sides are kind of catching on each other. And keeping them trapped. Oh man, look at those those big APS guns are just dropping rounds right down into the hull. Doesn't look like the doesn't look like the Glenfaba is firing. I haven't seen it fire in a while. It does have a good broadside, but uh, it might be some AI derbiness, or I'm not sure what, but it is not able to get rounds into the big transport oh <laughs> and there goes a tank so like it got around to the rear broadside and uh, took out the little support tank it's curious that those uh, don't show up in as like sub vehicles usually the uh, sub vehicles show up on the uh, the listing Oh, okay, so you got the uh, the tank battle 01 sub vehicle, but you only see you only see the one of them, not uh, all three.
maybe if they all have the same name, it uh, takes or it distracts the uh, the tournament mod. Yeah, at this point, the the Glen Pop is pretty much wrecked. It's lost most of its weaponry. I guess it does. We did see the uh, this this broadside, the uh, port broadside. Um, did appear to still be active. Oh, there we go. It's Top Gun is back online. Oh, looks like the uh, the garage is immobilized here, or the uh, the big transport. But still, just plugging away. Let's see if the Glenfaba is able to put some distance between itself and the big transport. And uh, maybe get turned around and use that uh, still functioning broadside. Yeah, it has definitely taken some damage. Hopefully, it's able to get turned around and doesn't uh, unintentionally drive itself out of bounds. Oh, and there we go with the uh, the bit of range. It looks like the big transport is actually starting to turn to follow it and here we go making the turn looks like using an aerial AI and the AI is able to get enough distance gonna come in and uh, we'll see a ramming run here looks like most of the rams still intact so this could actually be really good for the Glen Faba if it's able to get in there and get an effective ram Oh, those big cram shells really putting the hurt on the Glen Faba. It's all the way down to 68%. Yeah, it looks like that uh, barrage interfered with the steering and uh, wasn't able to get the ram in. Let's see if it, ha it might have one more chance. The big transport overall 86%, but the uh, main vehicle is at 97%. Glen Pablo all the way down below 68% now. I turned down the uh, graphics quality a little bit. I had it on the highest setting and I moved it down to the medium setting. Seems to have improved the frame rates, although that is also heavily dependent on the, uh, the vehicles in battle. Oh, Glen Papa picking up disqualification time. Yeah, I think that may be it. It's just simply taking too much of a beating and uh, no longer able to circle around. It's taking itself out of bounds. So congratulations to Jan. Your big transport survives to fight another battle. Condolences to um, Captain Cleeter. I really like the uh, Glen Faba and uh, it's unfortunate that it is eliminated, but that's the, uh, the way of the tournament. Uh, thank you for your submission, and uh, hopefully we'll see some more of your designs in the future. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I certainly did. Um, if you want to see some more of this tournament action, click the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next episode.